Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. We are just going to excuse the fact that I am not wearing makeup. I was just now editing this Halloween Dollar Tree DIY wreath and I realized I never filmed an intro or an outro to this video. Comment down below if you guys always do this. Forget to film intros and outros. So I just wanted to jump on here really fast to add the intro and I honestly didn't feel like putting on a full face makeup just to add an intro. So the video that you are about to watch is going to be my Dollar Tree Halloween wreath DIY. My total cost for this was only $10 just because I did already have a lot of these items on hand so I didn't have to go out and purchase. I just had to purchase the wire wreath, some of the toll, and I think some of the little accessories that I glued on. But other than that, I already had everything else on hand. So yes, the total cost was only $10, super affordable. I really love the way it turned out. I will be filming a video on how I'm decorating outside of my house. It'll be like a Halloween decorate with me outdoors. I usually don't decorate inside, only outside. So that video will be coming soon. So I hope you guys enjoy this Dollar Tree Halloween wreath DIY. Like I said, it turned out super cute and you guys can change it up. You can use any colors you want, any accessories you want. You can either do it with a bigger wreath form. I just used the one from Dollar Tree and I just made sure that it looked pretty full so it can look a little larger than what it really was. But yeah, I really enjoyed doing all of my Dollar Tree DIYs because they're so affordable. I feel like if you were to go to Hobby Lobby or Michael's, Joann's, any place like that, you're definitely going to spend double or triple the money for a holiday wreath when you can just make it on your own. So anyways, I'm going to stop rambling on and I'm going to let you guys watch me make my Dollar Tree Halloween wreath. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a big thumbs up. It definitely helps out my channel. And if you haven't already, remember to subscribe on your way out and also turn your notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I do upload a new video. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Okay guys, so these are all the supplies that you are going to need to make your Halloween wreath from Dollar Tree. You are going to need some tool from the Dollar Tree. I bought six packs, I bought three packs of black and three packs of orange. I did only end up using four packs. Then you're going to need any type of decor you would like to put onto your wreath. I went with pumpkin spiders and a bow. Then I also decided to add some of this black and orange glitter mesh. You're also going to need some LED pumpkin lights if you choose to have a wreath that lights up. You're also going to need some twine or ribbon. Then you will also need obviously a wire wreath from Dollar Tree. Then you're going to need a hot glue gun. And the last thing you will need is pipes. I do suggest to use either black or orange just because it will blend in better with your wreath. The only reason why I used white is because that's all I had on hand. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is just cut off the tag that is on my wreath and then I'm going to grab my pipe and I'm going to go to the last two wires closest to the center of my wreath and I'm going to twist my pipe as tight as possible. I twisted I believe maybe like two times, made sure that it was nice and snug and then I'm going to go to the last two wires closer to the edge of the wreath and I'm going to do the same thing except I'm going to do it more in the center of the wreath rather than closer to the edge and I'm just going to repeat this process all the way around so it's going to be six pipes on the last two wires closest to the center and then it's going to be six pipes on the last two wires closest to the edge of the wreath. So in total, you should have 12 pipes all around your wreath. So now I'm going to grab my black and orange toll. I'm going to twist the ends of the toll and then I'm going to place it in the center of my pipe. I'm going to do the center of my wreath first. So what I'm doing is just tying down or twisting down the toll to my wreath and then I'm going to add a little poof and you can do it as big or as small as you would like. And then you are just going to go to the second pipe, add another little poof and twist it down with your pipe and just complete the process so you are completely done with the center of your wreath. Then you're going to do the same exact process for the edge of your wreath. Once you are completely done with the center, just do the same exact process for the last two wires of your wreath. 
Now, as you guys can see, I am done making my wreath as far as the toll. Now I'm just going to flip over my wreath and I'm going to twist the pipe around in the back just so I don't have any extra pipe hanging out in the front. Next, I'm going to grab my black and orange glitter mesh and I'm going to cut off a few inches and I'm going to put this mesh anywhere I have my pipe just to try to cover the pipe a little better. And then at first I was only going to do two little parts of this mesh, but then I decided to cut off four pieces each for each section that had the pipe. Then I'm just going to tie it down with this little twine. You can use anything you would like. You can use ribbon or you can glue it down. I just decided to use this twine because it's all I had on hand. So this is what I use to tie down the mesh down to my wreath. Now that I am done tying down all of my mesh, I'm now going to grab all of my little decor pieces that I would like to add to my wreath. And I'm just gonna play around with it and see where I would like to place it before I secure it down with my hot glue gun. So you guys see me here just arranging it all around my wreath, trying to see where I like it best. Now that I know where I want everything to be placed, I take my hot glue gun and I just glue everything down to my wreath. Now I'm just going to grab my Halloween LED lights that are pumpkins and I'm going to wrap it around my wreath. It was a little complicated getting these lights on the wreath just because the battery part that lights up the LED lights is pretty big and bulky so I tried to hide it as best as possible behind the wreath and I also tried to get the pumpkins on every section of my wreath. So I'm just going to try my best and wrap it around the wreath and I did use two packs of these LED lights. And this is the final results of how my Dollar Tree Halloween wreath DIY turned out. I think it turned out pretty cute. I definitely can work on my wreath skills. I feel like I could have made it a little bit fuller, but I still like the turnout of how it looks. I like the big bow and the pumpkins and the spiders. And I will also show you guys how it looks at night when the LED lights are lit up. But this is how it turned out. As you guys can see, I did glue down all the pumpkins and spiders and a large bow. And like I said, everything was purchased from my local Dollar Tree, which is so affordable. I think it turned out beautiful. Okay, guys, so I really hope that you enjoyed today's Dollar Tree Halloween wreath DIY. If you did, please remember to give my video a big thumbs up. Also, remember to hit that subscribe button if you have not already. I would love to have you join me and my YouTube family. And also, turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.